I am not going to be the next mayor of New York City based upon the numbers that have come in. While Yang may not be the next leader of the city, he might soon be the leader of his own political party. The businessman who championed universal basic income ran a surprisingly successful presidential campaign and was the front runner in the race for mayor for a time. He himself would not confirm a report that he's launching a third party to coincide with the release of his book, Forward, Notes on the Future of Our Democracy. Good luck, Andrew Yang. Uh, good luck, uh, Yang Gang, because you keep your idealistic viewpoints. That's Republican nominee for Mayor Curtis Sliwa praised Yang's positive attitude. He says he sympathizes with Yang and his supporters and their desire to do things differently, having formerly chaired the New York Reform Party for a time. Let's face it, our democracy has been in peril, whether you look at it from a Democratic perspective or a Republican perspective, or as I have done for most of my life, as an independent perspective. Yang creating a third party is a big shift for the political newcomer, who often talked on the mayoral campaign trail about his connection to Joe Biden and going down to Georgia to campaign in special elections that gave Democrats control of the Senate. He seems to have soured on the party, especially after particularly pugnacious moments with the eventual winner of the Democratic primary, Eric Adams. I believe that everyone who ran they ran with the agreement that whoever's a Democratic uh, nominee, they're going to come behind. And so uh, I believe that this is a place where your words should mean something. It could be that the party Yang creates is generally aligned with the Democrats, like the Working Families Party. We asked Adams about that notion at a Bronx event today. I think that we're in a city where Democrats normally uh, fall behind each other. And, you know, we're going to move in that same direction. Okay.